If you're doing a lot of traveling around uh, or before you go out on a weekend, you should get yourself a torque wrench and uh, torque those lug nuts on your uh, rig. Really important um, to uh, have them all torqued and uh, just check with your uh, manufacturer as well to uh, what torque you need them at. So super important, get it done. We're just at the trailhead of the Sandstone Island Trail. Um, it's about a two and a half kilometer hike. So we have done this in the past. It's a moderate hike. So it's a pretty nice one. Um, I, there's probably around six different hikes um, in uh, Charleston Lake. So we have done a few, but uh, yeah, come along for this one. It's a lot of fun. So we're just coming up to the uh, rock, uh, really cool rock shelter that um, overhangs a bit of the trail here, so have a look. It's pretty cool, all natural formation. Having the duck under here while I'm going through, try and get a better shot of it here. You can see Heather's on the outside edge of it. For a good part of this walk, um, as you're hiking through this trail, you're getting views like this right along uh, Charleston Lake. The trail kind of goes around the embankment of the outside, so very beautiful, very calm. Uh, we just stopped and had a little bit of a little rest, not that we needed it, but just taking in the views and uh, nice sounds of nature on this hike. Pretty sweet. So this hike also is quite rocky, but definitely, uh, Definitely uh, family friendly, I would say. No problems there. Just watch your footing, but that's about it. And uh, yeah, the dogs are loving this hike. There's a, quite a few ups and downs, but uh, I'm just going down one now. But in general, it's just a beautiful, peaceful hike through here. This section of the trail is uh, all rock to go up. There's no actual base for dirt, so pretty technical you can see how they're going up there so um, just take it easy on the spot watch your ankles this is a steady climb up so it's kind of slow and nice and easy these rocks make for uh, decent footing actually almost like little steps and ledges to go up but it keeps continuing going up and up. Probably won't be able to really see it. Oh, sorry, on the video. It's climbing here. But it's a good uh, it's good incline up here. So just beautiful. All right, we're done the the hike. It's, uh, we got it down as a 2.7 kilometers, according to our calculations. So um, we're just back at the truck, heading back to the truck here. So definitely fun. Um, if you're camping at this park, um, don't miss this hike. It's a it's nice scenic, fairly easy. It's really not that hard. A couple spots really that are just um, a little bit. You have to be careful a little bit, but it's not, not bad at all. So definitely worth it. So today we had an awesome day doing some hiking and uh, hanging out at the campsite. Uh, it's such an awesome time uh, camping as we love so much. So tonight for dinner is we're going to do some prime rib steaks with uh, mushroom, green peppers, and uh, potatoes. So got a little steaks going here. Cooking. And looking good so far so then uh, later tonight we're gonna get a fire going um, tomorrow we're here all day and tomorrow night so we're happy about that so let's see uh, what tonight brings should be fun nice weather beautiful last day of August gotta celebrate 
I'm just walking over to the Discovery Center to uh, find out the rates for the kayaks and canoes. So something uh, we're maybe hoping to do today. So I'll, uh, I'll let you know what those rates are very shortly. All right, so kayaks, probably later today for us, if uh, we can get one that comes back. They're all rented out right now, but it's uh, $24 for four hours or $28 for eight hours. And if you want it for uh, a 24 hour period, it's 40 bucks. So it's pretty reasonable in my opinion um, to be able to uh, rent one and then uh, and go out in the water. So you can also rent paddle boards here as well, uh, which are really popular. So I would probably try and uh, reserve one of those a day in advance because they are very popular. We just stopped at the shoreline trail. We're gonna do, it's a two kilometer hike moderate. Uh, so just a couple steep climbs, but uh, we're looking forward to a little bit of activity on this day. So gonna be fun. There are a total of seven hikes in this park. Earlier I mentioned uh, that there's five or six, but there's seven to be exact. So really nice trails, well marked. Definitely uh, worth checking out. As you're walking through this uh, hiking path, you'll come across a picnic area, um, which is like a lot of flat rock, picnic table here, um, a really great place to go swimming. Just watch those zebra mussels when you're out there, but if you have proper footwear on, you won't have a, a problem. So worth packing a little picnic. It's probably only about 10 or 15 minutes into the hike and you get this view, having lunch. It's amazing. So one thing about this hike, um, hence the name Shoreline Trail, it goes right around uh, the lake, and obviously not the whole lake, but a good part of it. So it's nice, uh, breezy, uh, super nice scenery um, along the way, lots of places to stop and just do some relaxing and, and watching the water. So definitely if you're coming to Charleston uh, Lake Provincial Park, definitely hit this trail. It's a beaut. So I'm just in a, a different area of the park in a different campground and uh, just in a section here where they have five yurts um, all in a row in like a circle. So pretty cool, um, all really shaded, which is nice. So if you're uh, into yurt camping, uh, which we have done before, um, this is a really nice, uh, really nice section um, of the park where you're able to do that. So we are on site 268. I'll give you a little bit of a tour. So this is from the road, just uh, coming onto the site. It's a decent site um, it's mostly stone like little uh, crushed stone everywhere so um, it's fairly dry and not muddy which is nice so our trail is 30 feet as some of you know maybe some of you don't um, fits on here nicely um, nice tree area around us as well as behind the trailer is a big grass opening that people are out there uh, playing ball soccer everything so it's kind of a really nice area um, to go back into and that leads up to the comfort station so it's only a couple minute walk also in the back is um, your very own tap it's not shared by anybody um, at least the weekend that we were here um, nobody used it other than us so that's kind of handy so just at the back of the site so you can see kind of what it's like it's treed so you have some privacy. Um, I would say that from the front door of the trailer out to that tree is probably like 20 feet. So not too bad. Lots of room to walk around. Fairly comfortable. And uh, this park is a pretty quiet park. Uh, it is this weekend anyways where we are. And also there is a comfort station, washrooms only, straight ahead. Right up in, right up in here. Uh, so that's nice and uh, nice and handy as well. So, yep, nice site. We'd stay here again. Site two six eight. Okay, so today um, was a good day, but we could not do the kayaking due to severe weather that rolled in. So maybe another time. We're in a couple of weeks. We're in Sandbanks. So. Who knows, maybe uh, that weekend we might be able to do that. Not sure, but anyways, so we're just sitting down to a nice dinner. Had an awesome day, awesome weekend. So 
loving the RV life camping every weekend. Cheers. We're all packed up and heading her home and it's raining out right now. So I'll keep this short. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, and we'll see you on down the road. Cheers.